I'm back. Yes, I'm back. And to kick my video recordings off again, I'm going to start with another post bag. Uh, but it is one post bag. Uh, but it's quite a big post bag, and it's a very cool post bag. Uh, and it is all LED and NeoPixel. NeoPixel related. So without further ado, we'll take a look. I will tell you what the items are. I will tell you what I'm going to use them for. Uh, I will put links to them in the description below so you can go off and buy them. So let's go take a look. This is the package. It is a very big package. It took eight days to come from uh, China to the UK, uh, which is quite consistent for this seller. And now the seller's name is BTF Lighting and they are very good. They're a very consistent and reliable seller for all things NeoPixel. NeoPixel. They've got all the various types, the usual strips, strings, modules, uh, LED matrices, you name it, they've got it. But they don't do the 2020s. Um, they don't do them yet, which are the very tiny little dot stars, uh, or the brand new 2020 um, WS2812s, uh, which is, for example, ruh, these little guys, these are the APA uh, dot star 2020s if you don't know what this is this is the pixel pixel by sean hodgins and it's very cool for now it is just a fancy led light so let's open this up see what we have got So let's try and organize this. Ooh. Open these little packages first. Uh, this seller tends to do this. You have two options uh, with his packaging. You can get the BTF lighting packaging, which is this white packaging. Um, or you can get the plain, normal silver one that you tend to get with LED strips. Um, and he tends to label them as well. So, what have we got? Let's start with this one first. It's 6812 WWA, which are SK6812 WWA, which is warm white amber. I don't even see the chip there. And you've got two different colours. You've got the warm white and you've got an amber. So these actually, instead of being an RGB, it's just two colours. It's a warm white and it's an amber. Uh, so yeah, these would be quite cool to play with. These are 6812NW. What does that mean? So it's SK6812. Uh -huh. So these are six SK sixty eight twelves normal white or neutral white, and these are just single color white addressable LEDs. And wanted to have a play with these. It's just an LED, but it's not just an LED. It's uh, addressable, so you can chain these up on a single data line, and you could address them and use them just like NeoPixels, but instead of the colors and the gradients, it's it's a single color. Very odd, um, but very cool. I wanted to try them out, see what we can do with them. 6812 RGB. Now this looks a bit more something we'd be used to. Give me something to watch. Two here. Should be 10 on each, and this is a, bit, a little bit extra. So this is 6812 RGB. So this is your standard SK6812 uh, NeoPixel style addressable colored RGB LED. Uh, there's 10, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, there's 11, I've got a spare one. Uh, and these are in black. So these are the actual chips on the reel. Twenty eight twelve RGB. So 
So this is pretty much exactly the same. This is WS2812 5050 RGB NeoPixel style. So these are the same. I'll try to mix these up. So the SK6812 is the same as the WS2812. Um, same pinout, it's basically a carbon copy. Um, but I thought I'd get them both and see what differences they are. There isn't any really. I think there's a few little improvements and differences on this on the SK ones. But that's them. This one is a bit thicker. There's no label. This is running, if you're interested, the fast LED uh, strand test. Um, which is a bit like the uh, Adafruit strand test, but it's the fast LED one. Uh, it's supposed to be on this. It's supposed to be on a strand, but even on a matrix, it kind of works. So that should be going across the strand, but it's actually going across the matrix. It looks very cool. It's a great demo to see that all the pixels are working and running. And by the way, Sean, if you are watching, if you plug a 12 volt uh, supply into this, it doesn't kill it. Uh, it's designed for a 5 volt supply. I accidentally put a 12 one in in my haste to get it up and running. But it didn't kill it, which is good. So, you've got a strip, a classic NeoPixel strip. Uh, I think this is 60 per metre. But this is not your average strip. This is actually an SK6812. But it is RGBW. So if you can see the strips there, it's, you can just see the chip which will control the RGB as per normal but you've also got a white channel which is the little yellow part of the die uh, so instead of mixing the RGBs to get a white colour you just target the white channel uh, and the libraries out there support these um, and they are really cool again nothing specific in use but I'd like to try these certainly with the white colours just gives you a better type of colour so I've got all of these just to play with just to test and just using projects but the real thing that I was getting was these so we've got two of these let's open this Ooh. And we've got two of these, so each one is 50, so there's a hundred of these, and there's a hundred of these. They're slightly different. These are waterproof, these are not waterproof. Now what are they? They are WS2811s, uh, which are in fact the chips in here. You can see the chips, that's a WS2811, which essentially is that tiny little thing in there the magic of miniaturization instead of powering the LEDs in that die this 2811 using the circuit board is powering this RGB LED so this is an 8mm diffused RGB LED uh, and it's addressable via that chip uh, so essentially that is shrunk down into that, which is quite magical when you think about it. Very clever. But why would I want to get these? Well, these are waterproof and they are rugged. Unlike the strips, which can bend and crack and uh, fail over time, these are very rugged. They are very waterproof. If you can see, each one is encased in a tube and like a resin which makes it very waterproof now the difference with these ones you can clearly see there is no waterproof casing but that is essentially what is inside inside these so these are no good for outside these are more for indoor what I was going to try and do with these was actually put them on a Christmas tree maybe just put some black heat shrink just to cover the circuit board up myself just so it's a little bit thinner but these are quite bulky to be going on a tree and so yeah it's all essentially the same 
you grab the uh, the chip version. Still think it's incredible that they can uh, shrink that into that small 50-50 package. Really cool. So I'm going to be using these outside for Christmas. I want to string them together. Uh, I've only got 100 at the moment just to try this, just to test it. Um, I've always liked Christmas lights outside. But instead of just getting your normal fairy lights that just have various sequences, I thought we could actually program these. There's some things online that will give you some good holiday animations. It's all controlled wirelessly. If you plug in an ESP8266 onto the data line, uh, which is here, uh, you can re program various effects using your phone. You can log into this the web server of the ESP, or you can hook up MQTT, you can hook up things like Home Assistant, uh, and have it running. When the sun goes down, they'll come on. When the sun goes off, sun rises, they'll turn off or at a certain time. Uh, and it will go through the effects. Should we power these up see what they're like? I think so. Let me get a little control board. I have got, wow that is bright, an ESP8266, uh, a little Wemos board. It's just running the Adafruit uh, strand test. Wow, let me just adjust that. Ooh, how about that? That's a lot better. You can't see much, but soon you pretty much will do. So these are the indoor ones. This is a strand of 50. They have an input. Uh, and then they also have an output somewhere. So that is 50, I grab the next one, put it onto the inputs, which is here. Ooh, look at that. So that is 100, 100 NeoPixels running the strand test. I think you'll agree that's pretty cool looking guys. I think we'll stop with that, right? Is that the end of the video? No. We've got more NeoPixels. Let's hook them up. So I've got another 50. So these are the outdoor ones. What I've done here, if you can see, is I've actually connected up the additional power rail because it's running five volts off a single USB socket. And it's really going to be drawing a lot of ampage as it goes through these tests. So I've injected an additional 5 volt into this strand. And all I've got to do is hook it up. Which is there. And the input, which is there. Thank you. So that is 150. Wow, that is very red. It's looking cool. Should we stop at there? 150? No. We've got another 50. Let's make it 200. There is the input. Ooh, dodgy connection. Stick it on the output. Ta da! That is. I've just fried my Wemos. I think I was pulling too much current through it and I think I've fried the regulator. Um, 
I needed to power these separately. Let me go see if I've got another microcontroller and I will sort this out. Okay, I am going to leave it at this. Um, I got it working on another board. I've only got an ESP8266 and these um, WS2811 chips are a bit more flaky with timing uh, and voltage logic levels. This is exactly what Sion, uh, Unexpected Maker, was having with one of his uh, NeoPixel projects. That the data pin, the voltage was too low compared to the actual uh, input voltage. So the NeoPixels, the chip, uh, just messes up the signal and you don't get your, your desired results. That's what he was seeing. And this is essentially it. So this strip is running off 3.3. Uh, and it's working as per normal. I've then got a single data pin which goes to these three to carry on the data but these are all running off a 5 volt USB and they are going mental. Uh, I haven't got time to set up some kind of little uh, level shifter so you're going to have to enjoy this crazy show. But there they are, 200 NeoPixels. It looks very Christmassy. I'm very happy. I'm very excited to put them on my roof. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. If you've not given it a thumbs up yet, please do so. And if you have not subscribed, just hit that little subscribe button underneath and hit the bell so you get notified of more videos that I will release. Don't forget to check out the seller BTF Lighting on AliExpress, links below, and buy some of these NeoPixel strips.